Naked mole rats, the butt of many jokes, those pale, ugly subterranean rodents, might just hold a new key to cancer research. Researchers at the University of Rochester have been looking at naked mole rats and their lack of incidence of cancer. While these rodents can reach ages of up to about 30 years, there has never been a reported case of naked mole rat cancer. Now most cells, when grown in culture, will grow sort of one solid layer over the media. However, cancer cells will grow in sort of clumps and bunches and they'll grow very irregularly and in ways that they shouldn't. Now, naked mole rat cells, when grown in culture, instead of just sort of growing in like a flat mat, showed some sort of claustrophobic tendencies. They wouldn't grow if they were too close to another cell and they sort of showed that they could sense that other cells were around. So this was very interesting in thinking about tumors and tumor formation. However, the real breakthrough, and I love this part, came from the fact that the media that the researchers were using to grow these cells in was becoming sort of viscous and gooey and the lab techs were becoming really frustrated that they had to clean this sort of gooey substance out of all the drains. And so the PI of the lab said that they should figure out what it was because this was very unlike things that happen in human cell cultures and mouse cell cultures and so this gooey substance, this really obnoxious thing that was clogging up all the drains, might just hold the key to something. And it turns out she was right. The substance turned out to be hyaluronin and this is a common molecule in animals. You know, it sort of helps to lubricate your joints and it's found in skin and ligaments. But it was really interesting that this hyaluronin found in these naked mole rat cell cultures was actually a high molecular weight hyaluronin. And so it was sort of these much longer chains than you find in humans and mice. The researchers also noted that the enzyme used to break down this molecule also had a very low activity in the naked mole rat. So there was a large buildup of this molecule. Now they think that one of the reasons why it is present in these naked mole rats is to help make their skin nice and squishy and stretchy. So these guys live in very small subterranean caverns and caves and and so they need to be able to fit through all of these little spaces. And a great way to do that is to have this sort of nice, stretchy, squishy skin. Now to try and figure out how this high molecular weight, hyaluronin, might be involved in these sort of reduced incidences of cancer, researchers did one of two things to these cell cultures. Either they would interfere with the production of the molecule, or they would amp up the activity of the enzyme that breaks down the molecule. In either way, they were reducing the levels of it that were present in these cultures. What researchers found is that when you did this to the cells, you could start to get these sort of clumpy, globby cell formations, whereas before these cells had not wanted to grow anywhere near each other. They also found that if they took some of these cells and they put them underneath the skin of a mouse, they could start to get tumor formation. So this is really cool because it indicates that the hyaluronin might help to protect these cells from becoming cancer cells. So from here, the researchers want to go on and try and use the same molecule in mouse models to see if they can sort of reduce cancer in mice. And then from there, they would hope to go on to human cell cultures. So while this molecule is probably only one of many different mechanisms that helps to keep the naked mole rat cancer free, I certainly think it's a pretty interesting discovery and one that might be able to help human cancers down the road. So, not too bad for a hairless little rat. Go forth, do science.